Well, beat the virus, dun 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 dun. Beat the virus, dun 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 dun. Virus. Good morning, everyone. Hashtag Devore Global Running. It's happening. I just woke up, but that doesn't mean people were not racing while I was sleeping. Unbelievable. I, uh, I think so. So I just checked my phone and on Twitter, on Straw, I've seen four PRs so far, personal records thus far from the DGR virtual races. Unbelievable. Congratulations. I'm, uh, I'm well in it's Saturday today. I'm racing in the morning. When you're watching this, I'll be getting ready to go out the door. So good morning. First got to get some good old coffee in me and we're rolling. So the game plan for today is to get all is to get all my gear ready for the race tomorrow, including planting my water bottles and my gels along the way. I'll explain that in more detail also. Also, oh my goodness. At the beginning of this training block, for the Hamburg Marathon, I had re I had six very specific goals that I wanted to reach for the Hamburg Marathon. Well, I'm going to go revisit those goals, share them again with you, just to uh, check back in on like, okay, how did I do through this training block? Ah, oh, good morning, congrats again, 10K PRs, 5K PRs, half marathon PRs, unbelievable. Here we go. Hashtag the more global running. Hey, buddy. Oh man, everybody, I'm just checking checking Twitter real quick. Okay, the PR train is rolling. It's starting to hit Europe. Starting to hit Europe. Everyone's awake over in Europe. Amazing. Get it done. Unbelievable. Okay, so here are my five goals that I set out uh, to accomplish at the beginning of the Hamburg Marathon training block. All right, goal number one, heed lessons from Amsterdam and New York City. Okay, heed lessons meaning study the course ahead of time check did that uh prepare for the crowds mentally uh well i don't i'm not gonna have crowds tomorrow so that's that's taken care of and then find your pacing group again social distancing don't have to worry about that but that was definitely one of my goals uh that i learned from amsterdam in new york city okay goal number two fit fresh and healthy arrive at the starting line fit fresh and healthy I think I did pretty well, actually. I'll talk more about that after the race, but I do believe we are, well, we are healthy, so that is a good thing. Didn't get injured like the Cle Cleveland Marathon training block. Goal number three, um, oh yeah, okay, this is, okay. Repeating, fine pacing group, all right? Already talked about that. Goal number four, even splits and pacing. So, went out too fast in Amsterdam, so tomorrow, one of the goals is to even split um, and now, but here's what's crazy. I'm at elevation, so things are different. Like, um, I have to take that into account, the fact that I'm a mile above sea level, okay? But that is goal number four, even splits and pacing. And then goal number five, uh, yes, I threw it out there, was to go, yes, sub two hours and 19 minutes in Hamburg. Huh? <laughs> We're at elevation. No, 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 um, nobody around me to push. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I uh, let's see. We're going to work hard. I'll put it that way. We're going to work hard for goal number five. All right. So those are the five goals that I set out to accomplish for Hamburg. Now it's applied to the DGR virtual marathon, a mile above sea level. Let's go get it done. Okay. I'm off to go get water bottles and super psych. Not at the store. I thought I was going to have to go to the store to get bottles water bottles so i'm going solo nobody else is going to be out there helping me pacing me uh no aid stations at least i won't have to battle for my water bottles like i had to do in amsterdam so i'm going to plant these along the way um and by the way i just got back from my shakeout run two miles uh, with three strides mixed in okay and i dropped the strides down to like you know 
430 a mile pace just to just to remind the legs tomorrow is go time okay so here are the bottles and I'm gonna mix them in with the Morton mix right now. So here's my here's my Morton box with all the mixes, and uh, I'm gonna plant the bottles about a hundred meters before. So I've run this course so many times now. I know where every single uh, trash can and recycling bin is along the course. So I'm gonna plant these along the way and basically just deposit them in as I'm running past. Uh, but I'm gonna hide them, you know. Uh, yeah, like I said, probably like let me think, 100 meters, maybe 200 meters before each bin okay so here we go let's mix them up and measure measure here we are mile three first bottle drop right here and you all have probably already thought of this i am taking you know a calculated risk here i just uh if i did this tomorrow morning on race day you know that it, it could it it's going to take two hours to place all the bottles on the 26 mile course uh therefore i'm doing it today uh, and i realized listen someone could pick up the bottle and I, i'm fully prepared for that uh mental challenge if somebody says hey this looks like a piece of trash i'm going to take it so i have thought that through uh also um they might freeze tonight yeah it's supposed to be just above freezing tonight and hopefully they're not rock solid if they do freeze a little bit uh but anyway i have thought through these scenarios and what are you going to do at the end of the day you just got to keep trucking you just got to keep trucking okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna go place the first one with the gel and yes fuel early fuel often in a marathon okay so gel at the first stop here we go All right, okay, found a spot. We shall see, all right. On to mile six. Okay, this is about, about mile, it's, it's, it's hard to say, about mile 25-ish. So really just a mile to go, but there's no car access before this. So I'd prefer the bottle to be closer to like mile 23 or 24, but what are you gonna do? You just gotta, just gotta roll with it, okay. Off to the bib numbers and we're back to love all right you ready here i'll let you pull them out ready okay okay show oh there's the poster oh wow there is nice. the poster and there's the bib now so we get to cut them out we get to cut them out oh my gosh i love this part right so then we can write our name oh, in our in our bib number that's so clever for the pins is that clever so good these. work they look they so, so good, good. Wow. i know isn't that poster amazing yeah it's amazing so here Eat let me get virus. let me get a close wow. up boom there it is and what's crazy is that hun people are posting this bib number all over the world all over the world, the world. and they're setting prs today wow. during this race so congrats everyone well for done. racing hard out there so anyway i gotta get this bib number ready because race days race tomorrow, days tomorrow and then it's on to spaghetti all right we'll see you see you at spaghetti okay <gasps> boys you come here huh guess what's happening tomorrow Race. we're racing <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man's racing and this guy's racing. All right, are you all right? You guys sit here. We've got something for you. Your first ever bib numbers. Look at that. So you guys get to write your names on there. Okay, so for the race tomorrow, you get I got markers, okay? So you write your name, and then there's one for you want red, okay? And then we'll just don't get it on the table there. And we got a poster, and Papa's got to fill his race number. I'm, I'm bib number one. Yeah, you are. Because I registered first. Sorry, uh, I'll be bib okay. Leave that there. Uh huh. Good job. Good job. Okay. Here we go. No, no, no. Don't. Okay. Quick gear check for the race tomorrow. Here we go. We've got our Smith Attack Max Chroma Pop sunglasses. 
Halo headband for the sweat. Love this thing to keep the sweat out of the eyes. Love that. Halo, my rabbit singlet. Oh, got the bib number printed and ready to rock and roll. There we go. Uh, yes, it could be a little chilly in the morning. And again, I don't know exactly what time I'm going to start. So uh, I have these arm sleeves for just in case it is chilly. Some very lightweight uh, Nike gloves there. My Polar Vantage V watch. And yes, for all the heart rate fans out there, this will track my heart rate as best as possible through your wrist for you tomorrow. And it'll end up on Strava. Then we've got uh, Nike socks and Solomon socks. Depending, again, how chilly it is in the morning, I usually wear my Solomon socks for trail races. Uh, but if it is on the colder side, I'll probably go with Solomon just because they're a little thicker than these Nike socks. And then Nike shorts, which I got uh, down in Argentina, and I just love them. Very, very lightweight. And last but not least, the Alpha Flies. There they are. Taking them out for the last run before the final review. So next week, stay tuned. I'll get you my final thoughts after putting them through a race in a race environment even though there's going to be nobody around me but i'm going to uh take it take them out at speeds that are at race pace okay there you go onward and upward there's the gear okay everybody duty calls duty calls I'm gonna call the blonde bear the sun just came out i was a little worried about the weather tomorrow but the sun came out it looks like it's going to be a nice day in the morning this is exciting congrats on your race today. I mean, I, I, I have to step back a little bit, frankly, because at what is happening through the photos, the videos, the stories that you're sharing all over the place with me about chasing down dreams, chasing down goals, and uh, hitting PRs, it's unbelievable. So congrats, everyone, on what you're doing, uh, what you did yesterday, and what you're about to do today. If you're racing on Sunday, DGR strong, all right? DGR strong. Okay, question of the day. How was your race yesterday? If you raced yesterday, tell us a good story. What happened? What was the challenge that you overcame? What distance did you race? Let us know, let us know. All right, I can't wait to read once I get back after my race, all right? Oh yeah, 2 p.m. today, mountain time live in the studio, 2 p.m. Great race today. And, <laughs> and congrats to everyone that raced yesterday. Hey, let's just sign off maybe. Seven all right, here, here we go. All right, all right, here we go. On three, one, two, three. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow. Bye.